Here is another interesting question where reverse calculation will be employed. It's based on volume of a rectangular prism. The question is, rectangular prism with 12 cm square as the surface area of the base has volume of 120 cm cube. Determine the possible dimensions of the prism. Right. So go through this problem once again, read it carefully, pause the video, try to solve it and then look into my suggestion. How will I approach? As you know for me, answer is important, but how to get the answer is more important. So let's enjoy the journey. So let's read it once again and try to visualize what the case could be. Rectangular prism with 12 cm square as the surface area of the base has volume of 120 cm cube. So that means one thing. What is volume? Volume is equals to area of base times height. Now in this case, we know the volume. Volume is 120 centimeter cube. So I'm just writing numbers now. And area of base is 12. Now 12 times what will give you 120? Simple. 12 times 10 will give us 120. Right? So height should be 10. That's absolutely clear. So we find that the height of our rectangular prism should be 10. Since... 120 is equals to 12 times 10. So if we compare, height is 10. So that is one, one thing we found. And we already know area of base is 12. So it says determine the possible dimensions of the prism means what? Means we need to find what the base is. But we are given the base, its area is 12 centimeters square. How do you get 12 centimeters square? That is the real question. Okay, so let's make a sketch and then understand it. So what we are given is a rectangular prism. Let's say, let me make one here, right? So we have a prism, that's let's say the top, and then we make the height, edge, and then kind of make another rectangular prism here, and then that's how we complete it. Three dimensional figure with six faces and how many corners? You can see eight of them. So what we are given is that this area, this area of the bottom is 12 centimeters square. So this is 12 centimeters square. This is what we are given. And what we found was very interesting. We found the height, height of 10, which is not given to us. Do you see that? That is interesting. So we found the height. Now possible dimension. Let's look into the possible dimension. What could be the variations? Can you help me find them? I'm taking this time only for you to give me the answer. So possible dimensions are variations in the base itself. How can you get 12? 12 you could get in many different ways. Now I think you guessed the answer, right? For example, you can get 1 times 12 is 12, right? 2 times 6 is 12. How about 3 times 4? That is also 12. So these are the possible dimensions for the base itself. Do you realize that? Our height is fixed. In this particular question, height has to be 10, but the base could be 1 times 12. That means we are talking about length and width now, right? So length and width. That could vary, but height for us is 10, right? So now you can answer the question. So the possible dimensions are, let's say we write length, width, and height, correct? Can you fill this up? Yes, I think you can. Length is, if the length is 1, then the width have to be 12 and height has to be 10 in all the cases. If the length is 2, width could be 6 and height of 10. 
and if the length is 3 width could be 4 and height of 10 so these are all our combinations and units are all in centimeters so centimeters centimeters and centimeters so these are possible combinations I hope you understand so the possible combinations are that length and width of the base could vary to give you 12 as the area do you get the answer so we have at least these three combinations do you see that at least these three combinations right some of you may argue and say well let's continue and say length is 12 and width is 1 length is 6 width is 2 and length is 4 width is 3 well, more or less those are the repetition of these but remember one thing in such a question we just got height as fixed and different combinations of the base itself isn't that interesting wow I hope you enjoyed the solution but it does tell you that at times we can get more than one solution for a given problem and it's for you to look for all different possible answers and therefore this word determine the possible dimensions of the prism is kind of critical for these questions. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.